So I'm the uh, founder, chief architect, CEO of Dragon Chain, and uh, I'm here to talk about robust enterprise blockchain solutions that are actually buildable today um, in the real world. Um, so my background, I'm a uh, longtime software architect, 25 plus years, all over the place, all different industries. Um, you know, I, just, I love technology, love software. It's what I'm all about. And um, uh, I went in uh, 2014 to Disney. And uh, while I was there, uh, built out a team uh, to build a platform uh, to use uh, all across the enterprise. And, and really, for me, it was uh, uh, a, a, a great uh, platform to, to learn really about you know, the real uh, adoption uh, struggles in an enterprise because you know, we're talking um, all of the different divisions, all the different potential applications, and uh, we, we learned a great deal there. Um, and in 2016, we open sourced the platform, which was, again, really interesting because we got to a lot of feedback from uh, the real world. And uh, I left uh, in 2017, left Disney to to commercialize the platform based upon everything we had learned and what needed to happen. Um, and uh, since then, so we've been about a year and a half out um, commercial, and we've built a, a great deal of actual core tech. Um, it's been really valuable, really interesting, and uh, we've, we've built some very unique uh, interchain interoperability applications and uh, capabilities that we were actually awarded a patent in uh, uh, November last year uh, for a pretty broad patent on interchain application, and uh, we, we also own the trademark for interchain. Um, so today, uh, I figure we go over you know, what are the actual issues, what are the actual problems uh, with current adoption uh, for enterprises, for, for serious business. And the number one, the number one issue, uh, absolutely, is flexibility. That in most of the platforms that are out there available today uh, for building blockchain applications, there there is no flexibility. It's 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 a very risky. Uh, uh, inter, um, it's a very risky. Uh, uh, path to building out real capabilities. And we knew that we had to have a, a, we have a philosophical focus on addressing that flexibility issue. That is, when you, when you try to build on most of the platforms, you don't have the ability to make mistakes easily. It's a very expensive process. Um, and we, as an example, provide uh, interchain capability to allow you to actually leverage new tech as it comes out. You know, you know, nobody knows what uh, technology is going to be available in a couple of years. And uh, with this capability, you don't lose what you've built. You're able to leverage new tech as it comes out, you know, whether it's a purpose-built chain, whether it's another platform. Um, it's, it's a very important point because it's otherwise too risky for serious business to, to uh, attempt right now. Um, high performance. Another piece, everyone knows that blockchain is basically a very slow database, right? And uh, it, it, takes, it takes time to get worldwide consensus, right? It's, it's not easy. Uh, so we, we uh, have applied a hybrid architecture to allow a company to leverage the public blockchain, to leverage that worldwide consensus, yet at the same time, uh, on the business side, follow a model that their devs already know, security model that their uh, security staff already knows, and um, to actually provide the, the, the scalability and high performance at the business level. Um, the, the other big one is uh, time to market. And uh, you know, uh, if, as everyone sees, all of the prototypes that are being built out there uh, are usually six to 18 month endeavors very expensive, typically toys, typically not actually used operationally, right? And 
what we've seen uh, on Dragon Chain because of our architecture and because of the things uh, that uh, we actually have uh, already available, um, we're seeing you know weeks, weeks to an operational system. Of course, depending on the complexity of the system itself, but the integration is radically simpler uh, on a number of fronts, and it's been really valuable. And as we, as we as we roll these uh, systems out, it's always uh, very interesting to us because um, it, it's just a surprising surprising thing that we're able to to get things out more quickly. So. So most blockchain protocols currently aren't, aren't suitable for serious business uh, integration. And we see that not necessarily as, you know, it's not a bad thing, I mean, it's a very complex uh, uh, issue, but we see all of these, you know, this uh, proliferation of, of all of the different chains, some of them that are purpose-built for, you know, uh, specific uh, things or whether they're just different protocols, you know, quantum uh, resistant uh, uh, consensus, that we leverage them and we allow our customers to leverage those capabilities and the new capabilities that come out uh, for whatever business need they've identified. That's it's a huge, uh, huge deal. Um, so. We can talk about enterprise solutions that are actually being built today, that are actually available today, um, the capabilities. And um, we recently announced uh, a partnership with Metro Edge, which is a uh, micro data center uh, 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 company that provides edge computing for uh, enterprises, which, which is focused on really high performance compute high performance storage, uh, um, HP hardware with a dragon chain backbone um, that allows them to do a, a whole variety of, of uh, uh, implementations that are focused on IoT, on healthcare data, on supply chain, all the, all the typical pieces, but providing you know, a, a, a purpose-built solution that is on-site and uh, you know, very quickly delivered. Um, so why, why did they partner with us, right? Um, that when you look at the things that they need to deliver for the customers that they have, it's uh, uh, heavily focused on security. Um, we, we offer the ability uh, uh, for them to uh, leverage the security of the public networks, Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, and anything else that's needed, um, at the same time providing the flexibility so that in the future, more capabilities can be added um, with that uh, uh, interchain component. Um, <clears throat> we offer, because of our hybrid uh, architecture, an unlimited scalability. That it's, it's a cloud-based scalability both on the network side and if you're talking about the business nodes, um, they're scalable with you know, classic scaling tech that you can, you can pretty much do anything you could do on any Linux, Unix system. Um, sub-millisecond latency that as soon as that, uh, that business node accepts a transaction and your logic approves it, it's there, it's usable. You aren't needing, because it's your own data, to wait on the, uh, the worldwide consensus. So there, there are a bunch of very interesting pieces, um, on-premise capabilities that uh, containerized, scalable, and uh, very fast time to market for their customers. So we were pretty much the only option for, for doing what they need to do with the customers that they have. Right, and <clears throat> an example of uh, they're they're building out multiple solutions, but uh, an example of something that is a pretty clearly the uh, the same ap pattern applied to multiple industries. Um, they have a real estate and property tracking, and uh, potentially tokenization for private and public sector that uh, th basically provides all the security, all of the uh, you know any privacy data components. Um, and all the capabilities on site, and yet gives them some control to do some manner of the verification in our uh, uh, dragon chain network, um, yet still leverage uh, the community network nodes, verification nodes, and the, the uh, public uh, notary capabilities. So um, they're already building these, these uh, components out, and uh, they're, they're working on multiple uh, multiple different industries.
customers. Um, and uh, you know, generally, that's us, that's Dragon Chain, and uh, four minutes. I don't know if, if anybody have any questions. I, yes. Hi, Mike Hansen, Discover. Who's the one person or enterprise that you've helped the most, and what did you do for them? Um, gosh, uh, I'm not into naming, right? It was like uh, Metro Edge we can talk about. Um, uh, it's, it's, it, everything we do is very philosophically focused on the, these uh, capabilities where um, everything is about flexibility because you don't know what's gonna be available next month. You know, uh, you don't know uh, where, whether certain networks will fail. Uh, you don't know where 51% attacks will happen. Um, and we, we try to focus on all of these different things in abstracted ways. We have a, a, a stable pricing mechanism so that enterprises can come in and treat us just like they would Amazon, where they don't have to worry about you know, our token price flying up and down or anything else. Um, we have a very interesting but very abstract, probably hard to describe in a couple of minutes, um, scarcity model where we use uh, time as the scarcity in our consensus. Um, and we, we, because we can do that, we, aren't, we don't need to worry about the number of nodes you apply. We don't have, you don't, we don't have to worry about 51% attacks as much because they're a lot harder to, to do and they're a lot more, you're basically broadcasting this fact over time because everyone can measure that you're taking up more and more of the time. Um, and what that allows us to do though is for an enterprise, uh, uh, one of the, you know, I didn't mention it in this, but one of the interesting pieces is that you have a deterministic fee structure that even if, because we use time as scarcity instead of hardware, that even if you uh, see a multiple order of magnitude increase on our network, that all of, all of the boxes, all of the existing infrastructure can handle it because it's all multi-cloud and on-premise based, and uh, how do I say that means that our network won't fall down? Um, you know, because like most, if you have a hardware resource as scarcity um, and all the competition is based on how much hash power I apply or how many nodes I run, um, that you have um, uh, th this concern that if I'm a business, my fees will go up radically, right? Which is bad, but the real bad part is that my transactions won't even get on chain. Right? I can't even, even with a really high fee, guarantee that my transaction will be accepted and put on the chain. So with us, you know, we flipped that on its head and said time's the scarcity model. And we can, we can maintain that if you apply time, you can reduce your fee uh, uh, per transaction and have a much more uh, f flexible and safe uh, uh, platform because you won't have to you won't have to worry about uh, what the rest of the network is doing. You can focus on, okay, I expect I'm going to have this many more transactions this month. I might apply a little more time so I can reduce my fee, but you'll be able to at least uh, calculate that, right? It won't be some random figure you can't, can't possibly uh, guess. So, yes, I'm good, thanks.